hello good morning good afternoon good evening everybody how are you doing today all right so a lot of things has been happening between very dark man and the prophet jeremiah you understand so remember the last time i updated you that uh, very dark man talked about uh, J prophet jeremiah and the miracle that he has been performing in his ministry so very dark man pointed out so many thing in that uh, church you understand which we are still going on now so i think the worst has happened now and the matter has gone to court you understand so as it stands now prophet jeremiah has uh, has sued very dark man to court you understand because of what very dark man said that uh, the way he used to perform his miracles and all that so i'm going to read out uh, what very black man posted uh, in his page he understands before we can begin to analyze this and ask some questions which i expect you people to answer me on a comment section you understand so uh, the first page uh, post that very dark man made about 13 hours ago he said dear prophet jeremiah i will be waiting for you and your sons in court i know kukuma care on a connection so that is the first uh, post that he made look at the post here so the second one said pastor jeremiah lawsuit has sued me one billion naira for damages and that i shouldn't talk about him anymore Papa, you go here, kwasa kwasa. <laughs> this one is funny. All right, so just I have told you people that a lot of things has been happening. You understand? So now we are talking about Prophet Jeremiah, the well-known Prophet Jeremiah. I'm sure some of you are his uh, members in the church. You understand? So you know the question that I want to ask now is that: Do you really think that what? Uh, prophet jeremiah did you know taking very dark man to court is the right thing to do you understand okay look at the problem now there was a video that prophet jeremiah did you know when he was in mountain praying for god to give him the key to unlock uh, people that are in chain you know that people that have locked their destiny their progress their future and all that so but then um, Prophet Jeremiah was praying and the uh, key from heaven fell down. You understand? So, and uh, he picked it and said, God, thank you for giving me the key to unlock. It, that was the video, and that is the pictures of it. This guy will hear this is where he was in the mountain praying. So, when black man asked, Who video the key from heaven down to earth? So, that is where the problem is. So, when black man said, He is going to repeat it in court. And he's also going to heal a lot of people in court for him to prove that his miracle is from God. That is the problem because he also sells a uh, uh, miracle soap, uh, healing water, and uh, that was a particular soap that he he was talking about. Said that this soap is going to, you know, give you money, you know, give you progress and all that. That is where. Uh, problem now nice. the very dark man say what is the ingredient using in, on that soup you understand so that black of people approve this soup that you are using to heal uh, to heal people and all that so that is the problem all right my people you know uh, there are so many churches in this country that you know I'm not saying that prophet Jeremiah in the storm from God or whatever. So what I'm trying to say is that, you know, uh, this matter shouldn't be, be in a court. As a man of God, a lot of things are expected of you. You understand? You have to live a different life from unbelievers. You understand? So if you should ask me, I'll tell you that I think taking this matter to court is the wrong thing that he has done. Are you get what I'm saying? So you know, I am not really blaming very dark man because. A lot of people have been scammed. A lot of people have been deceived in different churches and all that. You understand? Believe you imagine somebody that is I've been in a church for more than five years, and the pastor keep telling him or her that you are going to have this, you are going to have, and the person keeps spending money. And at the end of the day, the person end up not having it. So, 
my advice is that the only person that you should rely on is God. You understand? So if you want something from God, all you need to do is just to pray and believe. Have faith that you are going to get it. I guess what I'm saying. You know, if only we can have the faith, trust me, God is going to do everything for us. With God, everything is possible. You understand? So uh, that soup we are talking about, and healing water and whatever, you know, I, I think... Uh, I don't know really what to say about this case, but you see this case in court. I, I, I'm not seeing Prophet Jeremiah winning this case. You know why? Because, you know, it will get a point where the court will ask him to prove what he has done. Evidence. I always talk about evidence. You understand? I always talk about evidence. Before you take matters to court, make sure that you have evidence. That you're going to use and prove to court you understand so i uh, also advise uh, the uh, prophet jeremiah's son i think he was he was the one that sued a uh, uh, very dark man to court together with a uh, pastor and jeremiah i think they should retreat their step i think they should bring this matter home and settle it amicably you understand and they are a well-known pastor you are not supposed to be seen in a court you understand that will damage your reputation as a as a prophet you understand so if somebody should doubt your miracle all you need to do just to you know need to ask god to you know you know as i'm sure god is aware of everything if actually your miracle is from god then let god fight for you you understand if actually god was the one that's using you to perform those miracles all you need to do is just to tell god look at what is happening somebody is doubting you and all that and you watch god fight for you that is the best thing to do so going to court as a prophet is not the is not the right thing to do you understand at least uh, there are so many churches that are sending healing soap miracle water you know carry your twins soap and all that so in fact 75 percent of churches in nigeria today they are saying the same thing and uh, i've not seen very dark man you know doing the wrong thing he's just trying to you know you know uh, uh, he's just trying to better this country all he has been doing is just to better this country you understand so please I believe that this video is going to get to Prophet Jeremiah. Please bring this case home and uh, let God fight for you. If actually God was the one that used you to perform those miracles, I am not blaming you. I am not saying that is not your power is not from God. You know, uh, all power belongs to God, and the last day that is where you are going to know the real one. That is my own judgment. You understand? I'm not also blaming very dark man. You understand he's only doing the right thing that's all all right my people so what do you really think about this issue between very dark man and the uh, prophet jeremiah for showing him one billion naira to stop talking about him do you think this is possible in this country for you to uh, sue somebody one billion and tell the person not to talk about you again all right please Drop it in the comment section is very important because this matter is very long. You understand? So, hope you're coming. Whether you are his member, just try to be, you know, straightforward. No sentiment. What do you think about this case? You understand? And I'm not saying that whether you are his member or whatever, just say things the way they are. That's all. All right. Thank you and God bless everyone.